Welcome back to the D&D campaign, where we last left off. We were somewhere. Where were we? Here's where. I gotta pull up the fucking map, because I don't know where it is. <laughs> Why do I never actually prepare for things enough? <laughs> Daniel's waiting the whole time. He's like, alright, we ready? We ready? Does the intro. And then I'm not. Uh... He's like, he's like, uh... Alright, sorry. Where we last left off, we were on the island of Greater Alertos. We, uh, the intrepid party made their way to the castle where the king of Greater of the Alertos region was having a party like he pretty much does every single day. However, when they arrived at this big gothic spooky castle that he lived in, they discovered that there were dastardly ghosts, uh, specifically our good friend Zephyr, I believe went into a room and was assaulted by a ghost. Bro came out of the walls. Yeah. <laughs> After escaping, they confront, uh, they, they ask for help at the party, taking care of the rot that they're investigating. However, they didn't make it very far, as the king proved to be ineffective and pretty, uh, pretty dull. Didn't seem to know what he was doing. And instead... He passed them off to his uh, knight and advisor, Brady. Sylvia. Sylvia, a, a tall, uh, fully armored, la- like armored lady with blonde hair, platinum blonde hair, a uh, big sword, big shoulder pauldron. Um, what is her? And she uh, told you that there might be a way for you to get something you need. If you uh, and told you to meet up with her, uh, maybe something after, else after the party. Okay. Oh. All right, you lose your inspiration. Episode just started, <laughs> bro. Yeah, take his inspiration away. For today's dice, I'm using the blue dice. Dice of the day. Dice of the day. That's today's. That's this episode of dice. It's not my fault. We were talking about it yesterday. Dice of the day. Dice of the day. <laughs> We love Hang on. Ice of the day. Yay. Ice of the day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. No more soundboard now. Oh, no more. I was just about to <laughs> press something. <laughs> okay. We have just... You have just uh, stopped talking to Sylvia and told you... She told you to meet her um, in Bruh. one of the adjacent rooms after the party is over this evening so she can explain what your mission will be. No, what would you like to do? <laughs> what would you like to do? He's still drinking. Everyone else is still. Yeah, can we drink at the party? Can we jive <laughs> a drink? I'll have a couple there's, more um, beer. There's like open champagne uh, tables with like waiters bringing it around. There's also like a bar. There's a, there's a, a drow there. Can I gargle some grog? <laughs> Um, are you going okay. over like champagne or? Yeah, or... I'll I'll drink I'll drink a lot of champagne. All right, how much is how much is slurp in there, dude? Um, like, do you have a enough. mission tonight? Yeah, like enough to but, get you drunk or no? Uh, uh, maybe we'll see. All right, if you're gonna do that, make <laughs> give me a Constitution check. Jesus Christ. I already started this. First roll of the day, 19. Oh, fuck. 19? Yeah. Good roll for the first roll of the day. Yeah, we're all right. You're tanking it. That's good. That's good. All right, I think I'm going to call it now. Uh, There's no point in... I already tanked a bunch. There's no need to drink anymore. I'm not going to drink. You're not taking it. Knowing that we have shit to do. Yeah. All right. Knowing me, I'm going to be the designated driver, so I won't drink. If you weren't We got got our own ship for that. (laughs) We got our own boat. Oh, that's right. What the fuck am I doing? Mm, I'll have a couple drinks then. Okay, well, so if you're just having a couple, you don't have to roll. Thank God. I don't All want to right. pull it up. Let's go take Brady over to Sylvia. So, what the fuck? The party winds down. <laughs> and you notice that now that it's nighttime, the castle has a very different feeling about it. It's not jovial anymore. And the gothic structure is starting to make the place seem a lot spookier. I don't like the way he's holding his mic. <laughs> Spooky. Thanks. Uh, the whole castle is lit up with this eerie sort of light. 
as you head into the adjoining room. It's a little office area. And uh, Sylvia is sitting there, still in her armor. <laughs> Jesus is sitting. Yeah, she's sitting exactly like this with her, like that? her hands. Like that? Yes. Great yeah. offer. <laughs> Hello there. General Kenobi. Hello <laughs> there. Hello there. I'm aware of your activities on Lesser Alertos, and that has shown to me that you are competent. So, let me cut you a deal. You have no doubt seen that our king is rather ineffective. So here's what you're going to do. You're not going to tell him anything. Okay. You don't report to him. You report to me. Yeah. Uh, you, will know, you may have noticed that some rooms in this place, this castle, are closed. This information does not leave this room, but we have had ghosts manifesting in this building recently. I need you and your compatriots here to take care of that problem. Manage these specters. Do so, and I can promise you a reward. Something I think you'll find very, very useful. All right, well. A reward? Let's, let's do it. I don't like oh, the way you smile God. at that reward. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. That sounds good to me. Well, might as well go and fight these ghosts. Spooky ghosts. There have been sightings yes. on the castle. I'll make sure... <laughs> Report to me once I return in the morning. You have all night. Best of luck. And she uh, stands up and walks out. And she uh, snaps one of the guards over and says, Evacuate everyone from the castle. Move everyone out. Make sure these three have their... have open access to what they need to do. And she walks off down <laughs> I'm the hall. I'm stealing some stuff. Open access. I am stealing a lot. Open access. Of course you are. And Brady is thinking about some weird stuff. Brady, what are you doing? All right, uh, let's, go. What are you... let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, go let's go battle yeah. some ghosts. I can't open my cough drop. All right. Do you have any questions you'd like to ask before she leaves, or anything? Where's the money to... at? Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't say that. Uh, Brady. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm fuck off. Uh. <laughs> That's for after we complete the mission. Uh, I yeah. asked her if she has an estimate of like how many rooms and or how many ghosts would be cool. uh, something that's, that's like, that we'd have smart. to take out. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> we have three particular problem specters that have made themselves shown. One in the piano room. There's one in in the grand ballroom, and one more has been seen lurking in the in some of the lower areas, the staff areas, and the uh, the lower parts near the wine cellar and the other staff area. I say all yeah. three of us should get one room. And you don't want to no. help us do this. <laughs> I've hired you, haven't I? I'm sorry. You haven't given us anything yet. You yeah, haven't given us money at all. Yeah, can we get, a, can we get an upfront? We, up we need it. We need like a, a small little deposit before that we can do this. Roll persuasion. All right. Wait, let me do it. Okay. Fourteen plus seven. That's a twenty-one. A twenty-one. I suppose I should give you some insurance that you will receive your reward. She reaches yes, into her please. pocket and pulls out a small, like, 
half of a token. Uh, well, it's like it. I don't know, like not like, like 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 a part of a key. Okay. And hands it to you and says, "This is half of a key. The other half will unlock the vault where I have stored three powerful magic items that I think you <laughs> would be interested in." Yeah. You will receive the other half of the oh, key, damn. and I will bring you the magic items upon completion. All right, fair deal. Do we have a deal? I believe we fair do. Enough. Fair Excellent. enough. Best of luck, ghost hunters. We shall see you. Ghostbusters. I'm like, who's going to sing it first between the two of you and Brayden? <laughs> okay. All right. What should we? Which one should we attack first? I feel like we yeah, saved the wine. Room. I feel like we saved the wine one for last that, because the that has room. the most stealing potential. I feel like we do piano and room, gonna, ballroom, and then the basement. Yeah, that's right. Because if we're gonna steal anything from the lower areas, we need to have fully beaten the ghosts, but and do, then we can steal some stuff. And do we know like what uh she has rain rain over? Like if we stole, do we know like what we could and couldn't steal? Like, does she calculate how much is left in, like, areas and stuff, or no? Or would we not know that? I don't think you know that. Like, we have no information about her position. Right, let's just do Let's do the... the piano room. Piano room. All right, let's do the piano room. We're stealing that piano after, <laughs> after it's all said and done. How the fuck are we going to steal a whole-ass piano? Hey, just watch hey. and learn, oh, brother. Watch wait, and learn. Maybe, wait, wait. Maybe I do have a spell for that. <laughs> I play music in the call. Huh? Can you? Can I just, or should I just play it over here? Because I'm going to start playing the Luigi's Mansion thing. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it probably will like not come through at all, but... That's the Luigi's Mansion song? That sucks. That's so bad. <laughs> I could also just find it on here and then play it. Yeah, wait, he could play it on Overtrack or something. How do I? How would I play something like through here? I want no, not to... now. Like in the video edit, he could probably put it. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess if I'm editing the video, I'll add some. I'll add some like theremin music or something. I just want to give a cool vibe for you guys. Or I could yeah. look it up right now. We could all just listen to our own. Yeah, just all. Listen yeah, you can put it. on some theremin music if you want. Whatever. Sorry, it's being completely sidetracked. Uh, I have Luigi's Mansion music up. Cool. No way. Do you want me to record the music with it though, or no? No, it's fine. Okay, I'm listening to it though. It's kind of just for vibes. Okay. I'm listening it to it though. I am as well. Would that be copyrighted anyway? A one hour version. Yeah, it would be. It would be. All right. You make your way through the dark corridors, full of shadows. So you make your way to the piano room. The room that Brayden was in earlier. And you see the door is left slightly ajar. You heading in? Uh, can I try to sneak in, perhaps? Sure. Before, before anything, anyone else goes in, just to gauge the room? Mm -hmm. Hang on. Um, you make a stealth check. All right. 27. Damn. Oh. Damn. Was that net 20? No. Oh. 17 plus 10. Holy shit. Your stealth is plus 10? Yeah. Jesus. I'm sneaky. <laughs> so, you make your way. I'm going to see. I'm going to roll their perception. Do I have some eerie music on right now? Me too. You enter the room, and all is quiet. You see the uh, the, the the bear, like stuffed bear, and the piano, big big grand piano, and all the paintings on the walls, and like a piano and hunting room. What is your goal? Um, I guess I don't. I don't see any ghosts or anything in there out yet, right? 
am I able to like position myself like hidden that the ghost wouldn't see me like if it came out or is it just kind of a room? Yeah, you can try and hide. Uh, I'll try and hide. And then I think you can hopefully. just do that because you're already stealthy. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I'll try and hide. What? Are you going to wait to see if the ghost appears? Yes. Uh, if you're trying to sense the ghost, you can make an Arcana check. Uh, and what are the other two? What are you other two doing? Uh, I want to look at the piano. If you're sneaking in, I don't think we should go in at all. I'll do an Arcana check to check for the ghost. So if anything, we but just first, stay outside and wait to hear anything. Okay, I guess I'll listen to what the ghost. told me to do. I got a four. You, you, got got a, your, you Scooby Doo got your ear up to the door like. Yeah, we have. I don't sense yeah, anything. Scooby Doo. I don't sense anything, right. Daniel. I what did you get? Four. You roll? four. You got a four. <laughs> All right. You can't tell where the ghost is coming from, but after a little while, begin to hear piano music. You can see. The I was going to say it's probably going to start with the piano. <laughs> the piano keys beginning to be pressed all on their own. You can't um. Is there a way I can like signal them to like come in as well, or? Yeah, sure. Did you, did you, did you come up with like a signal? Uh, should it be like if, a? If you're like listening hand. in. You can make like a little like a little clicking noise. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I'll make like a little. Well, click. I can just do that. I think. I'll just make a little click sound and see if they can come in. <laughs> oh my god burping over here so what do you two do hearing this hearing well if he's signaling us to come in i guess i'll just yeah, come in, and in i'm gonna look at the uh, piano we'll try to, we'll try to quietly quietly move around now oh no yeah obviously quietly move uh, push the door open and make your way in and you see the keys are indeed playing themselves uh and then as you answer are you stealthing or yeah Alright, give me stealth checks. Oh boy, this thing Not go 20. Good. Ooh. Yo, he's sneaky. He's sneaky sneaky. Uh, 17. 17? Oh, you all managed sneak. to slip in? Yeah. As you're hiding around, you see the shimmering form of a blue specter appear playing the piano with a big jovial grin. It appears to be Maybe it's uh, somewhat reminiscent of a tiefling. Uh, it's got four horns, two sticking up that curl, and two pointing down. It's wearing a very regal, noble-looking cloak with gold accents and a blue base. Um, but what's most noticeable is its transparent blue ghost. But also, you can see parts of its body are separated, like it's been chopped to pieces. Like you can see the head's been cut off and is like partially removed and his arm is partially removed and is floating along next to it. Uh, and one of his eyes is just an X. Oh. Like it had been. What should we do? Should we attack this guy or? Do we know what, we don't know what works on him though. Yeah, no. We know, we know nothing about, or would we, would we know anything about in terms Slowly of like. floats up. Our histories. The piano stops. He begins to drift around the room. He goes, Oh my, the party's over. But that's barely begun. There must be someone still here. Maybe the other two are doing something. He floats around the room. And... You, he, he calls out and he said, Spirit! Oh, shit. You can see the fireplace on one end light up at a much harder, like, burning. Hmm. And you see another specter emerge from it, a beard made of fire. Um, and this spirit is much larger. It is very big and uh, and has just, you know, like like, it's completely bald. Uh, save for that big flaming beard. And the last one you see rise up out of the floor. The third ghost is wearing a white ragged shirt and is incredibly thin with an unhinged hanging jaw and long pointed teeth and like wild white hair. 
uh, and is very like empty and is twitching slightly. It says, "Oh, you two, how good!" This is the 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 jovial ghost, I guess I'll call it the horned one. How goes it? You goes it? How goes it? Bartholomew. He looks at the flaming one. How can you? How can you remain so jovial in these times? Our vengeance is not complete, and you're acting the fool. Oh, you always got yourself in some kind of twist. Hmm. Oh, Victoria, Victoria, you have a you have a penchant for. For finding things, don't you? Why don't you give a look? You can see the uh, the thin specter with the hair uh, and the long jaw twitching more, and it goes. She goes. Yes. She looks up, and she says, "I, I can feel their presence nearby. There are three close at hand." Somewhere, maybe in this room. And then you see the flaming one, who you can guess by the name is Bartholomew, looks over at uh, the horned ghost um, and says, You, Gideon, find those three and show them what our vengeance is. And he uh, vanishes in a flash of fire. And um, you see, the when you assume Victoria, uh, the, the crazy-haired one, also uh, sinks back into the floor. And you see uh, Gideon, the one that just referred to, the one with the horns, kind of goes like, Oh, if I must. And I think now is the good time to show you what I made. Ah. Oh, I, was ah. Say, I thought they couldn't go through, um, like, out of their room. They can move around the castle. Oh, he went but outside of the it. castle. Because he couldn't Sorry. get Brayden, remember? Yeah. But Brayden went outside. Mm-hmm. Oh, right, and right, the, yeah, right yeah, as Daniel yeah. started to introduce the like, I feel three, I hear three people in here. My music changed to like an even creepier song. Dude, <laughs> no, dude mine is crazy. On time. Mine, my, I literally wrote down that my audio is a paid actor right now because when Daniel talking about the piano, there was piano playing in my in the song Yo. that I had, and then right when Bartholomew came out, it was like a dum, and I was like, and then right when right when he like said mansion. something. Right when he said something again, I got it the same exact sound right when he started speaking again. <laughs> I was like, oh my That's gosh. Alright, I'm gonna show you what I made. And this this is Oh, is this the scene? Is this the thing that you Yeah, just yeah. Send, wait, just send it. Yeah. yeah, I'm 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 copying it right now. Okay. Uh, uh look uh, I'll put it in drawings. Yes. Look at the drawings channel. You will see. These are the three specters that you saw. Holy oh. fuck. Aha. Uh -huh. That is an elite yeah, picture. That is fun. That is actually really cool. Nice. Now that you're alone. But now that you are left alone in this room with just the uh the gangly ghost, the one who they called Gideon. What do you do as he's looking around? He's close to Yeah. Would we happen to have any knowledge on how to fight ghosts? Like, what's more effective or less effective? Give me an Arcana check. What's okay. or a History check? See what your knowledge is. You can pick seven. All of you can do one if you want. Yeah, I'll do an Arcana. I was just wondering if part of the I was that, if that might have been eight. part of the order if the order had fight eight. fought in ghosts. But I got <laughs> a seven. I got, I got a fourteen on history. Ooh, Brayden, what'd you get? 
Eight. Eight. All right. Bogler, you remember. You've heard about ghosts. You've heard about some of their properties. You know that uh, physical damage that isn't magical isn't going to do a whole lot against them. At so least, least. I guess none of my attacks on <laughs> hey, do dog me, shit. Me and Wait. Chris can't do anything. Then. That's crazy. The second Daniel said it's not going to do any damage, my music well, changed no, into this like goofy ass fucking song. That's so good. <laughs> Jesus. You can assume, um, yeah, that ghosts, uh, are, mm, yeah, the ghosts are. More resistant against physical attacks. Well, Raiden, we're screwed. Yeah. We cannot do anything. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Should I I I just jump him and try to do a a little bit of damage? Maybe let me go first. (laughs) Okay. I don't know. I was thinking then he he targets me, and then you you can hit him when he's not... Paying attention to you. Or I guess you go first because you you would attack with advantage now potentially. So yeah, maybe you should. Would I be able to? Gideon, what? the ghost is uh throwing things around the room looking for you. Well, yeah, Wainstrom should uh should go and attack. Okay, I agree. Um, let me let me check something real quick. Just you don't already, use the the dude. thunder, the lightning one. That kill, that's gonna kill all of us. Yeah, Why see not? <laughs> Are you gonna go heat up your food though? You should probably do that before we fight. No, I'll do it after. Hey. Ah. All right, we'll start with something light. Oh, if you attack, uh, you are going to be attacking all of you with advantage because you've suppressed. Mm-hmm. And Brayden, that does mean you can sneak attack. I don't have sneak attack or anything. I just have weapons. You can rage. So I'm kinda... you can rage. Oh shit, my rage! Okay, my rage fucking does. rage. Oh, oh, I'm okay. so gonna <laughs> rage on this. Person. I'm gonna rage on this motherfucker. I'll use burning <laughs> hands. I'm gonna do a level one burning hands. On the ghost. What is it? Um. Yeah, it's not a roll to hit. Oh, okay. It's what, a. What save are they making? Wait, is it a roll to hit? Hold on. Uh, yeah, fif- dex fifteen. Okay. Mm. Yeah, they pass. Lucky so dog. I believe they take half damage. Okay. Oh shit. Would I? Uh, Actually, would, would wait. they get disadvantage because of? Uh... Yeah, they would get disadvantage because surprised. Okay. All right, that nat twenty turned into a thirteen. <laughs> okay, so it hits. So they fail. Yeah, because they be take dex. full damage. Yeah, they take full damage. Okay. Full oh, that damage on the ghoul. Yeah, it's not that much. It's only nine. It's Ooh, nine nine five yeah. damage. That's a funky bit of damage. Which wait. It's nine. All right, everyone else, if you're also attacking, make your attacks. Can I jump out and use sneak attack on this guy? Uh Uh-oh. With my rapier. Um, so... Ah, crap. Hold on, Daniel's right. Do I... Okay. Crap. Oh, hold on. Um, my elemental affinity is also fire. So anytime I do deal damage, uh, you add plus four. Or good attack. So that's thirteen. Good right. attack. I, I kind of I keep forgetting I keep forgetting about that. My bad. Who is who else is attacking next? Uh, I am. This will be your order for next. Yes. Yeah. Um. So I roll with advantage, right? Like. Yep. The hit. Okay. Um. Does a twenty-four hit his armor class? Oh, you Jeez. know it does. Alright, so I if for my sneak attack I roll the normal damage and then also the forty six, right? Hmm? For sneak attack, 
I roll the the normal damage as well as like the sneak attack bonus, right? Okay. That are talking. Uh, twelve plus twelve, so twenty four. That's pretty. But... You did twenty four damage. Yes. Unfortunately, he's, your he's sword is not magical, yeah. right? Yeah, it's just a regular. So, oh, he is going to uh, take half of that Wait, twelve what damage. You, what if you hit him with the immovable rod? <laughs> I feel like that wouldn't work. No, I don't think it would. Well, he, if I immovable rod the middle of his no, head, I'm he would just not, like not do that, but just smack him with it. So that technically is magic. Although you aren't yeah. proficient, so you won't. Ah, yeah. uh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, but it probably would uh, still do. It, would, it probably would still do less than. Yeah, it's fine. So we took twelve. Instead All right, and then am I able to? Uh, so he just to, takes yeah, he takes. Half. Am I He's able to? Disengage, and disengage from like hide or something. You can disengage and move to the other side of the room. Yeah. All right, Vogler. All right, I'm probably gonna rage on him. Uh, I'll attack with my javelin, so we'll see if I can hit. Get to use your rage stuff. Oh, does a 23 hit your armor class? Oh, you know it does, baby. Alright, let's roll. Oh, I like how neither of you even had to roll advantage. No, I, I uh, did. I rolled 15 and then 20. So, I got a 9, but with my rage. How much is rage again? Plus 2, right? So, that's 11. Uh, 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 yeah, it is plus 2. So, 11. But because you said half... Oh. Would the damage be... What? So that will be five. Damn it. It doesn't go to the highest? That's bullshit. Mm -hmm. So, you all leap out and make your attacks against this thing. And then its head rotates around, not attached to its neck. Just... Uh, yeah, yeah. So, oh, hello there! That's so good. So, and the body whips around and says... So you are the funny little goobers who have made their way into the castle tonight. You're in like Bartholomew's this. curse, aren't you? You know we're bound here, and this party never ends. So why don't you join the fun? I don't like this. I recognize you from earlier, he points at, uh, at <laughs> Zephyr. <laughs> this, uh... I definitely think you will have lots of and he rushes suddenly towards you. Uh, oh, God. And I need you to make <laughs> a charisma saving throw. Charisma? Wait, so what was the reaction to our attacks? Was there any... What was the ghost's reaction? Just that? That was the reaction? Yeah, that was the reaction. <laughs> so basically we did shit. Yeah. Well, no, you, you did actually, like, fuck him up with that. Okay. It's just like he doesn't feel pain because he's a ghost. Oh, yeah. Who does he oh, attack? Okay. Gotcha. You. You. Oh, me? <laughs> Daniel's, Daniel's mic cut out and it sounded like he said Vogler. So I was uh, like, oh. Oh, Zephyr. Uh, okay. Charisma you, save? Yes, charisma, charisma saving. Save. Okay. Uh, 11. 11? Unfortunately, yeah. you fail. And you see oh. uh, Brayden, uh, Zephyr's eyes go... Uh, Oh, fuck. And his eyes turn to a different, uh, like a glowing color, and you oh. take on a different posture like this. He says, "Oh, it is to inhabit a body again." Okay. No. So hold on. If he's in Brayden's body, doesn't it mean he can take physical damage now. Well, obviously, we'd be hurting. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I didn't think about it. I didn't think about it. I didn't think about it like that. I didn't think about it like that. Oh, uh, Brady, Brady, it is your turn. What to attack? Yeah, mm -hmm. you got to get him okay, out so of Brady's so body. Is he in Brayden? Yes, he's in Brayden. How the fuck do I get him out of Brayden? Oh my god, uh, fuck! <laughs> but... He is not in me. Uh, he is like in that. you. He's, he literally he's is in me you. like that, though. We weren't talking about it like that, though. <laughs> All right. Oh, this How? is gonna be I'm a very. I'm gonna die. This is where I die. This is where I die. 
Someone's Brady's gonna kill me, I think. Hold on. What are you, what are you doing? Wait. Oh my god, get that on camera. I just I totally hit myself in the face with my water bottle. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, can I use hypnotic pattern? Sure. What does that do? Uh, it creates a twisting pattern in a something something. It a thirty foot cube with range. Um, each creature in the area who sees the pattern must make a wisdom save. If they fail, they become charmed for the duration. And while they're charmed, the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. And oh. the spell ends for any affected creature if it takes damage. But I feel like this might be able to get it out of Brayden, though. Okay. Because if it can't uh, move, and he can Are you move, telling... Can... You tell Vogler not to look at it? Yes. Okay. Please? I'll look are, away are you, do it. you are casting this? I am casting this. Fortunately for you, you cast this hypnotic pattern, and it looks directly at it, and it goes, Ooh, pretty colors. Are you trying to charm me? <laughs> that doesn't work on ghosts, you silly billy. And it is uh, Chris's turn. I should have smacked the shit out of you. Honestly, I should just smack Although, Brayden actually, in the Brayden, face. Actually, can you say that? Uh, because, the, because this is you talking. Oh. You don't have to. What? Uh, yeah, no. I'm... This would be like in partially Brayden's voice and partially the ghost's voice, like overlapping. All right, Vogler, it's your turn. Brayden is still possessed. I have an idea. What if I you just try to? You should try to throw me out the window. Oh God. I mean, he's not he wrong, can't, and he can't get out of the castle. <laughs> And I Honestly, have my levitate spell that I can just like. No, you have the rod. And a movable rod, but yeah. Actually, yeah, I'll agree with that. I'll throw you out the window. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, please, the two of you, if you're gonna try and throw him out the window, make contested strength checks. Oh, Jesus! Excuse me. Please make a yeah, contested strength checks. Both or the, for those two, for Wainstrom and mm -hmm. Ogler. 18. 18? Yeah. Braden? We are using Hello, Braden. Oh, I have to do a strength? Yes, because it's yeah. your body. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, on, I have horrible strength. No, come on. Eight. Eight? Oh, God damn oh. it! <laughs> you got it. What did you get, Vogler? Uh, shit. 18. 18. Yeah, 18, thank you. Yeah. You try and stop Vogler, but Vogler basically just bear hugs Zephyr and then suplexes him Over out. There. The <laughs> and as you do that, you see the ghost is forced out as it cannot leave the castle. And he goes, whoa! No. And Vogler, uh, not Vogler, uh, Zephyr, you are now plummeting towards the ground. Do, do I immediately, like, come back to my senses? Yes, or you're back to your senses. Um, can I the try to thing. levitate? Yep, you can use your And levitator. can I go up on levitate? Like, can I go back up? I think you can go back up, window? and I'm going to say you could get close enough you could, like, grab the windows, though. Okay, I'll do that. All right. But it is now the ghost's turn, and it is going to turn it's to you. Shit, you're so I, have hand, I have a hand on the window just holding on. Yeah, you're just dangling there. If, well, actually, you're levitating outside the window. <laughs> Not recharge his possession. So he's going to turn to you, oh, shit. Vogler, and he's going I to go... I fucking knew it. And I'm going to need you oh, to make a wisdom now, saving throw. A what throw? A what throw? Wisdom, wisdom saving. saving throw. Oh, I have shit-ass wisdom. Oh, fuck you, bitch, 15. Oh, you steal your nerves. You are not frightened by <laughs> this man's spooky face. You, you stare at no, him now. God. He goes... Uh-oh. Go on, thought. <laughs> Brady. It's your turn. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me think about this. Hello there. Let me think about this. 
No me digas, Juan, ¿qué papá? Eh? Yeah. Luigi time. That's pretty good, actually. I feel like you? I just have to use fire, fire burning hands. Uh, I'm gonna use burning hands, but I'm using the second degree this time. Give them second degree burns. Uh, Lol. It's a Dex 15. Oh yeah, I forgot you need to make a Dex. So... You're good. Oh, uh, and that is a f 11. Okay, that does that hits. Fails. Uh, yeah, that's going right, to be damage. 13 damage plus because it's fire, it's gonna be plus four, so that's 17. How do you destroy there we go. this? Post? <laughs> hmm. Let me let me think. Let me think. Send fire into him. Hmm. <laughs> Boy, he's so funny. I uh I stick my hands out at him and I yell, uh, fuck I don't know. I yell like, this is for taking over my friend. <laughs> yeah. Get out of my friend's body. And you roast him. <laughs> Have fun being dead for real this time. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes. Ah. <laughs> he dissipates. Um, leaving behind a small device on the ground. Can I pick it up? Reward! Uh, do you want to figure out what it is? Yeah. Uh, make an intelligence check. Intelligence. Oh, I think I'm pretty stupid. Mm, me too. Probably me too. I wouldn't be There's surprised. There's intelligence just like a regular roll. Nope. It's a... Uh... The little device yeah. that's there. Fucking crit one. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of blinky lights on it, but you don't know what it I is. I will try to do this as well. Off. You're Three. still out the window. You're still out the window, oh, bro. I'll I come are, into the window. You're okay. You clamber back through the window. All right, Chris, you're and gonna be smart. I got a three, so I uh, also I was... look at, <laughs> looked at the thing. And uh, wait, is it the one? Lot is it, of blinky under, lights the top. on there. And is it the top? Oh, yeah. I have dog shit intelligence. <laughs> oh, Fucking <my> nine. <laughs> We all... You're pretty sure it's got a little dial, like a little needle on the front, and that indicates that something's near. And it's currently... Oh! Oh. That's what? It's a ghost fucking finder, bro. Wait, What's it pointing to, Daniel? Zero. Zero. It goes from zero to ten. Oh. Oh, okay, so then that means there's probably no ghosts. In this room or this... Yeah. So okay. it's a ghost finder, bro. Well, I guess Chris is the only one that seems to know how to use it, so Chris just takes it. Sure! And, uh... Pick up the ghost finder. I guess we could have... Can we investigate the rest of the room for, like, anything else? Uh, sure. Take a look around. Uh, make a perception check. Five. Ooh, piano. Investigation check. <laughs> I got a five. Brady. On perception. You're, you're just pressing a key on the piano. Doom, That's, doom, doom. Yeah, sounds about right. <sighs> can I... Can I see, try to see what there is to steal? Sure. Bruh. Make a perception check as well. Perception uh, check. Oh. Bogler, if you're looking for anything, you can do a perception as well. Twelve. Twelve? Um, there's a bottle of expensive brandy on one of the bookshelves. I'm, I'm taking that. I'm taking it. Fourteen. I'm taking 14. that. Fourteen. What are you looking yeah. for, Buckler? Uh, I actually kind of want to know what the ghost is playing. So, uh, I look at the music stand on the piano. <laughs> okay. You go over and you actually recognize the song that it was playing. Because you, yeah, fuck the you Brady. Board, there was a little, um, like a little, like I don't know, like like excerpt that describes what this song was written for, and you realize um, that this was written for a, an opera called, uh, which well, an opera you have you actually doesn't actually exist, uh, but it's it's titled "The Fall of Sir Gideon." 
And the Yo, song... he's fucking playing a song about himself. But so you read through it and you see the song describes a jovial noble who one day partied too hard at the castle and offended someone who had him oh, executed, shit. chopped to bits. The king is hiding something. So yeah, hold up. Oh no. Of Sir Gideon. <laughs> Fucking... Oh what if, no. What if Sylvia is a bitch? It does not say, it does not say who is. offended him. She kind of is already, yeah. Shut up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it does not say who he offended. All right. It says he offended someone. Okay. And was executed. But... And for the purpose of this, I think this is where we're going to leave this episode. It's about it's been about forty minutes. Okay. So we're gonna okay. leave this till next time. We're gonna see the rest of the ghosts. We okay. fight two more ghosts. Two more. That's four more. Two more. Two more. I just want to say I had the biggest fucking like double chin ever during that.